This book's gonna take over my life. Just kicking my feet, screaming and throwing up. Okay, 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 okay. I need you to listen to this one, okay. <sighs> Hello beautiful people of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new here and I'm so excited that you joined me today. This is the start of a new week in my life reading vlog and I haven't done one of these in so long and I just kind of miss vlogging. So we're just gonna see how this kind of goes. I don't really have a ton of plans this week. You'll get them as I get them. Okay so as far as what I'm reading right now I fear that I have a new book that's gonna be my entire personality. You know how I read Shatter Me and I like went off the rails and have not been back on ever since. Um, I kind of fear that this book is going to be the same way because... <laughs> and I owe some of you an apology. If I ever said, no, no thanks, I'm not a fantasy reader. If you recommended this book to me, I am so sorry that it has taken me this long to pick it up because I can already sense that this is probably going to be a five star read. And the book that I'm talking about is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. If you recommended this book to me, thank you, and I'm sorry. So far, this is so much like Hunger Games, it hurts, but at the same time, it's given me so many different vibes. Again, I fear, I fear, <laughs> I fear this book's gonna take over my life. Okay, I, I have a feeling, I just have an inkling that the, it's gonna go in that direction. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this reading vlog. beautiful people. It is Monday now. I did not come back on yesterday and update you about Powerless. However, I did get pretty far into this book. Well, pretty far. It's a 500 page book. I did get to page 179 last night and guess what I broke out? Guess what I got out? Okay, I got the tabs out. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm obsessed with this book. I'm literally obsessed with this book. Look at that. I'm gonna try my best to tell you what this is about. So basically we're following our main characters, Payden and Kai. And Payden is something called an ordinary, which is basically like the lowest of the low in this world. And then Kai is the exact opposite. He is the king's son. So he's a prince. Basically ordinaries are not supposed to mingle and mix with the elite, which are the higher ups. So Peyton from a young age is basically trained to lie, steal, do whatever it takes to survive. And a circumstance comes along where Kai and Peyton are in the same place. And she <laughs> tries to steal from Kai. A circumstance happens again in that same period where she saves his life. All these people see that. And basically there's like this Hunger Game-esque trial thing that they're gonna go through and they choose Kai to be in it and they choose Peyton to be in it. And let me tell you guys the tension, the banter, all the things. Oh my gosh I'm obsessed with it. Literally this makes me feel like the first time I read Shatter Me. So I'm assuming that there is a genre that I'm actually in love with that I don't know about. Is this considered romantasy? Because if it is I feel like so is Shatter Me. I feel like Shatter Me is considered romantasy because it's got like magical elements in it. And if that's the case I feel like that's my genre because this makes me feel like a giddy little girl and I'm just kicking my feet screaming and throwing up. That's the update. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. As far as today goes, my brother and I are going to go out to this place called the Lost Sea and it's basically this underground cavern that has a underground lake. So he's never been. I've been once and it's really cool. I love things like that. So we're going to go to that and then maybe to a couple bookstores. I'm not 100% sure. But tonight I am going to be on Jessie's Sprints. So hopefully I can get a lot more of this read tonight on those. So yeah, I will see you when I have another update.
beautiful people. How are you doing? Let's catch up for a minute. It is, what day is it? It's Tuesday. <laughs> It's Tuesday and I just wanna go ahead and let you know that I'm doing laundry. So if you can hear my washer in the background, that's what that is. Um, I'm also eating some leftover Chipotle. I've got some chips and I've got some guac. So while I talk to you about this book, I'm going to be eating my lunch, even though I might get carried away and forget to eat. So let's talk about it. Also, everybody say hello to Nugget because he had to be included in the discussion. So last night I got two page 247 on Jesse's sprints. The only way that I can describe this to you is this is exactly how I felt when I read Shatter Me. And when I read Shatter Me, it was unlike any other reading experience that I've ever had. God bless America. Tara Moffey. Straight to jail. <laughs> it was more so just one of those things where you just fall madly in love with the book. I have a feeling that this might be my best book of the year. Who am I? This is a fantasy book. I don't necessarily want to dive into the fantasy genre, but if it's this, if it's mostly romance with a side of fantasy, I think I'm okay with that. You wouldn't like this, it's spicy. But the thing that was getting me last night when I was reading this book are the quotes. <laughs> I got about 100 pages into this book before I realized that I needed to tab this book. Here are the tabs that I've got. I don't know if that tells you anything at all, but hopefully it tells you everything you need to know. It's so good. It's so good. And not only am I tabbing it, I am also highlighting it. That's when you know a book's good. Like this is one page. I'm probably gonna use all these tabs. I'm just gonna let you know. Gotta take a guac break. I want some on the book. Mayday, mayday. <gasps> That was so scary. I didn't get it on the book. That was terrifying. Okay, so I need, I need, physically need to read some of these quotes to you because if I can convince you to read this book, please let me do that. The most beautiful quote that I have read in this book so far. I actually read it on JC Sprints last night, but I'm gonna read it to you again just in case you missed it. And I do wanna make this pretty clear. This is a YA book and there's not a lick of spice in here, okay? There's not any spice in here whatsoever, but the tension is hot enough. Like it is, it is scorching hot. So they're in this competition and Peyton asked Kai what his favorite color was. She's like, I don't really know that much about you. Like, what is your favorite color? And he looks at this girl and he said, well, I didn't really ever think about my favorite color. It never seemed important. Not until I looked into a pair of ocean blue eyes and I realized that perhaps drowning was a beautiful thing. Not until I looked into a pair of fiery blue eyes and realized that perhaps burning was a painless thing. Not until I looked into a pair of sky blue eyes and realized that perhaps falling was a beautiful thing. I never thought about my favorite color before because I hadn't seen one that was worthy of the title until now. And in a low voice, I said, blue. All right, flip the fan on. Somebody turn a fan on. And their banter to each other is just so good. It's so good. And she hates to be called darling. Like she always says like, I'm not your pawn. I'm not your toy. Like I'm not somebody to be messed around with. And he just calls her darling all the time. And she's like, stop calling me that. And he still calls her that. Oh, it's so good. Okay, 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 okay. I need you to listen to this one, okay. <sighs> Something happens to Kai. I'm not gonna tell you what happens to him, but he's bleeding. Peyton is there rubbing this salve over top of the wound. And he says, of course you can. You and your salves will be the death of me. I'm beginning to think that you enjoy getting hurt. If only so, you can have my hands all over you. Oh, I'm not making you do anything, darling. You can leave me to bleed out if you must, but I only want your hands all over me if you want them to be. My eyes snapped to his gray ones already pinned on me. I'm playing a very dangerous game. Playing with fire and hoping I don't get burned. Swimming in a dangerous current and hoping I don't drown. He is dangerous. And even with the one thought echoing in my mind, I hold his gaze and put my hands on him. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. The time of my life with this book. I'm having so much fun. So, just in case you were curious how I'm liking this book, loving it, I'm loving it. It's probably gonna be like a favorite of all time. So I'm hoping to finish this one today because I have a huge TBR and I've barely made a dent in it. So I need to finish this one today. I would like to start um, a buddy read tomorrow or tonight. I don't know, depending on what 
time I finish this one. So this is my main priority today and I will check back in with you. I'm going to continue eating my Chipotle and I'm going to check back in with you sometime later. Hello beautiful people. Happy Wednesday. The last time I talked to you I was bawling my eyes out but since then I have finished Powerless and I am settling on a two star. Just kidding. Honestly you honestly thought I was serious. After all that look at this. This is like a six star okay. This is probably one of my most favorite books of all time now. I love this book with a passion and I don't think that I need to say anything else because I think I've already said it all. Read this book, that's all I've gotta say. So, my husband and I went on a little date night last night and he dropped me off at the bookstore and I was in search for Reckless, which is the second book in the series and it just came out. And I was also in search for the novella, which is also in the series, and it comes right after Powerless. And I did end up getting the novella and it's called Powerful. I believe this is Adina's story, which you meet in Powerless. And I'm really excited because I'm probably going to pick this up very, very soon. But my bookstore was out of Reckless. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll get my hands on it soon enough. <laughs> but as far as what I'm reading now, last night I decided to pick up Bookshop by the Sea by Denise Hunter. This is a buddy read with my friends Keisha and Jordan. This is my very first Denise Hunter. I think this author is a Christian author. I'm almost pretty sure. So I got about 40 pages into this one so far and the best way I know how to describe this to you is I'm reading words on a page and I'm doing this book a disservice by picking it up right after Powerless because I feel like nothing is going to compare to that but at the same time even if I pick this up whenever I feel like I would just be reading words on a page and only book people will understand what that means. These characters are very surface level. They're very flat lined. I do not see this getting any deeper than the page and I just don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Um, but again, I'm very early on so I don't want to make any assumptions so far. And I also want to show you these cute little bookmarks that I found. My friend Cassie was talking about them in our discord for Comfy Cozy. And this one is a little croissant. And then there's also a little pretzel. I'm so excited that I finally found these. I've been looking for them all over the place. But yeah, so I'm going to try and get a little bit further into this one today. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I have been a busy B today because I've been trying to finish up and tie loose ends as far as YouTube and content goes. I have edited a video and started to edit this one. As far as the rest of the day goes, I'm going to stay in here for a little while longer. This is my kitchen and I need to make some banana bread because I have some bananas that are going to go bad. They're very, very ripe. <laughs> and in this household, we love ripe bananas because you know what that means? banana bread. I love making banana bread. It's one of my favorite things to make. And so we're going to make some banana bread. And then I think later I'm going to make a pie for Bible study tonight. But we'll see. And then I've got to make dinner. So we'll be in here for a minute and I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to share with you the recipe that I use for 
my banana bread. Here we go. First, you gotta preheat that oven to 350 degrees. Then you gotta mix together all of your dry ingredients. So let's talk about those. First dry ingredient is two cups of all-purpose flour. Doop. One teaspoon of baking soda not baking powder, at least not for this recipe. A half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna measure with my heart right there. A half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Again, measuring with my heart. A half of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, and those are all of my dry ingredients and I'm gonna mix those together. I almost forgot regular sugar. You need a fourth a cup of that. All right, it should be completely combined and then we're gonna start on the wet ingredients. Now, if you're baking this for a crowd or anything like that, then I would put the wet ingredients in a separate bowl and mix them all together. And it's just gonna be me and my hubby, okay? And I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna make as little dishes as I possibly can. So I'm gonna just put the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. First wet ingredient is you need a stick of butter, but you need to soften it. All right, the butter going in. If you don't have butter on hand, you could also use a half a cup of vegetable oil. Two eggs. It's better if they're room temperature, but if they're not, honey, just use them. I will say I did end up putting the eggs in a separate bowl just because I have a phobia of accidentally putting an eggshell in anything, so that's a tip. <laughs> And in they go. Next, you're gonna need one teaspoon or one splash of the heart of vanilla extract. And the last step is that you're going to mash your very ripe bananas. I will say I've used bananas that are even more ripe than this. I've used bananas that are completely brown and that still turns out so good. All that banana flavor is in there. Obviously use your best judgment, but the riper the better. These are probably good for me. And when they look like baby food, they're finished. And then once you've given that a good stir, it should look something like that. Again, it looks like baby food. <laughs> I will say that if your bananas do not mash up pretty easily and if it does not stir together very easily, then your bananas are not ripe enough. So in order to make banana bread, I really encourage you to use very ripe bananas. After it's in, you need to stick this in the oven for about 50 to 60 minutes. You don't wanna overbake this. So I'm gonna probably stick it in there for about 50 minutes and then check it at that point and then see if it needs a little bit longer. Now that I've got your attention, it's a little while later now and we are going to make something else. I told you that I was going to make a pie for Bible study tonight and it's going to be called a lemonade pie. And apparently you only need four ingredients. I've never made this before. We're just gonna roll with it, okay? So all you'll need is a container of Cool Whip, a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, a packet of lemonade mix, and this is the Kool-Aid brand, and then a nine inch graham cracker pie crust. So, I don't know. We're gonna try it anyway, okay? This is the same bowl that I used earlier. Yes, I did wash it. Make sure you wash your dishes, folks, okay? This one is literally as easy as it gets. All you gotta do is combine literally everything I just said and then pour it into the pie crust. So that's what I'm gonna do.
back to my kitchen. It's not like you haven't been here all day. No, I promise I have not been in my kitchen all day. I've been like doing some other things, but I have been in the kitchen a lot today. Um, I'm, I figured I'd show you while we're at it what I'm making for dinner. So I told you a couple times that we have Bible study tonight and we have Bible study every Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, I like to keep dinner very simple and quick. So what we're doing for dinner tonight is I'm gonna make kibasa and rice. And I just basically get some kibasa. I chop this up and then I put it over rice. And you could easily put other things in it, like you could mix some other veggies in it. Us personally, we just eat the kibasa and rice and we're good to go. We do add some sauces to it. You could easily make this in like 10, 15 minutes and be good to go. That's what we're doing tonight. Nothing fancy. We're going to be doing it quick and easy tonight for dinner. And I thought I would show you that a little bit since you've already been in my kitchen all day. <laughs> beautiful people. Happy Thursday. I thought I would hop on here and update you about what I was reading. I didn't really talk to you a lot about the bookshop by the sea yesterday. I just told you that I was listening to it while I cooked and baked yesterday, but I ended up listening to the rest of this last night and I am here to announce that I gave this book a whopping one star. <laughs> Look how stinking cute this book is though. And I gave it a one star. Denise Hunter, I believe is classified as a Christian author. I'm not 100% sure if all of her things are Christian, but I know that for a fact that this one was because there was faith throughout the book. That was the only thing that I liked about this book is the faith tie-ins. The faith felt very natural and it felt very seamless throughout the book and I didn't feel like it was forced at any point and I really, really liked that. However, these characters were inseparable. I did not like either character. I did not like the male character and I did not like the female character. The male main character in here did a lot of questionable things. Like he was in a casual relationship while all of this was going down and then the female main character character just seemed really, really immature for how old these characters were supposed to be. I also thought that since this was supposed to be a Christian fiction, the characters' actions really did not show it in the slightest. Like, there were so many questionable things that went down in here that I just... If you've read anything by Denise Hunter before, please help me not be afraid of her other books because I would like to potentially pick up another book by her because all of her other books are as cute as this one. But if there is icky as this one, I don't want it. Okay, so we're moving on to a new book today. And I was going to wait until tomorrow because I do have some dedicated sprints for this book right here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start it today. And that is my book club pick. The Secret Book and Scone Society by Ellery Adams. This book has gotten so many mixed reviews in the Discord and people are just not knowing how to feel about this one. And I think it's the fact that this is also classified as a cozy mystery and I'm hearing that it's not a cozy mystery. So that kind of scares me a little bit, but I'm going to go into this knowing that. I'm going to go into this one with my expectations very level. I'm not going to get my hopes up at all. And I'm going to go into it with an open mind and really try and enjoy the story. I'm really hoping that I'm not setting myself up for failure going from a one star book to a, another one star book. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping that this delivers what I would like it to. So the rest of this vlog is probably not gonna be exciting because I am not going to share my thoughts of this book with you because this vlog is gonna come out before the discussion and I really wanna save my thoughts until the actual discussion. The rest of the vlog, I will like tell you how far I get into it and I'll tell you like what are some things I get into. So hopefully you're just okay with like watching me do things for this weekend. I'll probably just go until Friday, maybe Saturday. I don't know, but my goal is to finish it this weekend. So hopefully you're okay with that. <laughs> I will tell you that for today, I am going to the bookstore. I need to go get a few things done today and I need to run and get a few things from the store. So I will probably go by the bookstore and guess what I'm looking for. I, I bet you'll never guess in a million years what I'm looking for. If you guess reckless, then you guess correct. I am looking high and low for that book because I will squeeze that in 
somewhere this month. You can about guarantee it. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll probably come back and film a video and maybe read. I don't know. We'll see what we get into. Hello beautiful people. It is now Saturday. I did not talk to you at all yesterday for just different reasons. I had a lot going on yesterday. However, I showed you this morning where I went to a local coffee shop slash bakery that had a bunch of different things. And let me tell you, okay, first of all, if you don't know what I'm talking about for my book club, Comfy Cozy Book Club, which is what we're reading this for. I think I explained that in the beginning of the video. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically for my book club, I assign you a cozy task each month. And the cozy task for July was to go to a local bakery coffee shop and order a scone for obvious reasons. And I did that. And let me tell you guys, this was the cutest coffee shop that I've ever been in. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time doing that. Just so you guys know, like I am most excited about this book club just because like not only does it give you guys an opportunity to become more cozy, but I feel like I need it. I feel like I need the accountability to slow down in my life and take time for things like that. Because today, I just really enjoyed myself. I really did. I finished this book while I was there and I just had a really good time. And it was very low key. Like I got my scone, I got a chocolate chip scone. It was delicious. I got some water. I just sat there and read my book by myself and just, oh. It was wonderful. So I did end up finishing this book at the coffee shop. I'm not gonna tell you anything. <laughs> I really wanna keep my thoughts secret until the discussion because I don't wanna spoil the discussion before we even get there. All I'm gonna tell you is that I finished it, but I highly recommend that you read it. But join us on the discussion date. <gasps> oh my gosh, you fell over. That was scary. Don't do that again. All right, my friends, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Again, thank you so much for joining me today on this crazy, chaotic, cozy vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some book recommendations or just book motivation in general. If you made it this far into the video, please leave me a croissant emoji so that I know you stopped by and that I know that you watched this far and because we love croissants over here. All right, my friends, until next time, remember that the world is a better place with you in it and I love you so much and thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!